MySubstation.com, people, you already know what it is. Yeah, I hope yeah. you caught all of that. You know? Um, yeah. I got G.O.D. the legend with me. We need God. We need the God. You know what I mean? It's Chad Money. And, um, it's another installment of Substation Live. It's good, bitch. It's good, huh? I <laughs> am, <laughs> man. Man, I'm chilling, bro, you know. Yeah. Working, trying to get it together, you know. Yes, yes. Every day on that grind. Now I'm on right off top. Last time they, uh, well, actually, last time they seen you, they probably seen you in that fly ass video. But uh, the last time they saw you prior to that, it was uh, it was the tag money regime. Yes, yes, tag what's, money. Uh, what's going on with that? Is there, is there still tag money? Is that uh, is that still going on? Still in the plans? And uh, what is uh, what is what is forever rich ENT? How'd that come about? Well, tag money, basically. I mean, it's still. Still, on a, shout out to BJ and World, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, Tag Money, you know what I'm saying? They still keeping it pushing, you know what yeah. I mean, keeping the name alive, so, you know what I mean? It's nothing to still promote, you know what I mean? But as far as the Fever Rich thing, I mean, I just felt like I just had to get behind my own vision and really start branching out as a solo artist, you know what I mean? And spreading my wings, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, i always been in the shadows, so I just felt like it's time to bust loose. And the Fever Rich and T thing is all about, man, you know what I mean? Being Nigga forever like six, nine, six hundred pounds, Tyler, and always in the shadows. Come on, man. <laughs> forever rich, ENT is just basically, you know what I mean? We forever rich, you know what I mean? And rest in peace to to my nigga Rich, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rich Yavis, rest in peace. So it missed a double meaning. We forever rich with him, and we forever rich, you know what I mean? We getting this bread. All day long, all day long. Now, what's up? Uh, what's going on with me, though? What's going on with GLD the Legend? And uh, as far as forever rich, ENT goes, are there uh, more artists on the label? Do you have uh, producers, DJs, break dancers? You know, give them <laughs> more info. Oh, shit, yeah, we got uh, two artists under Fever Rich ENT. Myself, we the guy, and Gina. Shout out to Gina. You know what I mean? Female artists, mm-hmm. uh, hip hop artists, rapping. And uh, we got a couple of producers that's not exclusively in Fever Rich. We got one, Roy, Roy Abrams. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's our that's our official Forever Rich ENT producer. But as far as we got I'm a boy Debonair, beats down in Charlotte, North Carolina, get beats from him exclusively. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We got it's knobs up in Toronto, we get beats exclusively, so you know what I mean? And Charlie Counter, down in Atlanta, sending a couple beats on my way, so I mean, we pretty much got one one official producer, you know what I mean, one DJ. Shout out to DJ Tyree. You know what I mean? So we just moving. Look out for that mixtape Memorial Day uh, weekend. Let me throw that plug in real quick. You know what I mean? That's a new idea. Ray don't even know about that. Ray probably over there like, what the fuck he talking about? Mm-hmm. But uh, Memorial Weekend is Forever Rich ENT slash a TV uh, production. I mean, look out for that Memorial Weekend. But that's what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. We're working on uh, Forever Rich ENT. Forever Rich the album. We do the God Forever Rich the album. We'll be out summertime, sometime. Check out that 420 single on YouTube. Now, what exact uh, type of production are we talking about for Memorial Weekend? Uh, it's pretty much going to be just like a little, we're just going to throw in some, a uh, couple of loose tracks. That's about it, you know what I mean? And throw in some industry stuff that's hot around that time, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And do some uh, re-raps over some beats that's hot around that time. Gotcha. And uh, me and Piff, we're going to put a couple of new joints on there. So, I mean, it's going to be a nice little something to ride through for Memorial Weekend. Right, right, Kids right. be on their prime, you know what I mean? Something to ride through in that fly run. I dig it. You know what I mean? So, that's how we go. What, uh, what you got going on outside of the music? Outside of the music, I mean, shit, we just... Got this Stoners Club, Skywalker Stoners Club mm-hmm. clothing line that uh, shout out to Keith Beatty, me and him, and Amanda Sadie Taylor. You know what I mean? That's the Skywalker squad. We probably sometimes this fall look for us. And we got the Forever Rich line coming out soon, too. You know what I mean? Don't quote me on that official name, but it'll be out sometime in the summer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just got a couple things in the works. You know what I mean? Trying to manage, get, get our uh, artists out there, DJ out there. So, 
we pretty much just really working on building up the Forever Rich ENT brand for right now, as far as with the music, we need a guy, Gina, you know what I'm saying? So that's really the focus right now. So we just putting everything on hold to make this nice, awesome push so we can so we can make a nice little dent. Gotcha, you got um you got any artists that you're looking at? Any artists that you you scouting to possibly add to uh Forever Rich or is that not in the plans right now? Uh, I mean right now no, not in the plans for real, for real. I mean it's a couple artists out there that uh that's seeking management from from us, but I, you know what I mean I ain't gonna speak on their name right now because it's not official business, so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna spill the uh, spill the milk or whatever. But mm -hmm. right now we're really just focusing on we need a guy and Gina. That's the main focus. But it's a couple. We talking to a couple. Mm -hmm. Now uh, what's up with Gina? She got a project coming out anytime soon? Uh, Gina is working on the project right now. Uh, hopefully be due out by the fall. But she all over my project, so you know what I mean. You will get introduced to Gina fully. Okay. You know what I mean throughout this summer, so. You know what I mean? Just thought it'd be a good look to get her feet in the, feet, feet mm -hmm. in the game, so gotcha. get her name out there, so. Now how'd y'all uh, how, link up and, and what made her good enough uh, for you to be the the other artist? And uh, I mean, she's honestly the, the lead female artist on Flavor Rich ENT. I guess you could basically say the first lady at this Man, point. Man, first lady, yeah. Uh, I mean, back when she was younger, I had got wind of her through the world. And I mean, I actually heard her spit, and I was like, yo, it's chick tight. You know what I mean? Like, she had it together, punchlines, delivery, and everything. She was ready, and she was cocky with it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I tried to recruit her for the tag money, for the tag money movement, but, you know what I mean? Things didn't, you know what I mean? They didn't work out the way. We never linked up. But uh, this time around, I don't know, but it must have been just the stars aligning. You know what I mean? I reached out again. This time, she was like, yo, I'm ready. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. shoot. Got her in the booth and it was just been we just been rolling ever since. So you know, it's so, been rolling. Anybody who uh, I guess who who's never heard you or you know who hasn't um, hasn't been introduced to you or introduced to the sound, just go ahead and you know give them a little little background of you know, when you actually got fully involved in the music and like what what type of uh, I guess like what type of sound, what type of feel can they get when they when they listen to the uh, you know music and. and what type of message, uh, you know, do you have? I know a lot of times these rapping ass niggas, you know, they just be <laughs> rapping ass niggas. And now if somebody see you and, um, you know, know that you rap, I know the first thing they want to do is make the comparison to Biggie. Yeah, so, get that a little too much. Yeah. That's the number one comparison. You know what I mean? But I try to tell them, I mean, me and Biggie, that's two different. You know what I mean? You may have, you may see similarities, but. Biggie wasn't 6'9, 400 pounds, people. I ain't even 6'9. <laughs> Nah, man, that's 6'4", 285, by the way, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, it's flattering, but it's like, I don't take that to heart, though, you know what I mean? I'm not a person that, you know what I mean? My head about to be blown up off of that, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm winning the God. I'm not trying to be Biggie. I'm me, you feel me? If you hear similarities, then, I mean, it is what it is. I grew up listening to Biggie, what the fuck you expect? Right. You know what I mean? But, uh... As far as my roots, man, shit, you know, man, I follow these boys, man. Back in the day, Flatline, you know what I'm saying? Flatline! Shout out to Flatline, you know what I mean? That was the movement back in the day, I mean, we, I hopped on with them boys. I, I went from sitting around watching them and just, you know what I mean, bobbing my head, jumping occasional freestyles just to say some funny shit, cool. to writing a rhyme and then actually being nice with the rhyme. It was like, shit, I was able to... You know what I mean? The boys, y'all opened up your arms and embraced me to, to be a part of the group and shit. Since then, it's just been rolling. Been we've been, been like, embracing, we've been just tired of sitting around <laughs> and got time to be so goddamn sad. <laughs> I was never sad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, eight years later, still at it, you know what I mean? It's only been that long? Man, I, it don't even, I might even be shortchanging myself a year. Right. It might even be nine. But shit. It's been a while, yeah. you know what I mean? And ready to make that big splash. Come on, man. Put on for Lackawanna, LA Stand Up, yes. that whole project, Side Streets, all that, you know what I mean? Stand the fuck up. Come on, man. Now, uh, what is Lackawanna? Where is Lackawanna? Go ahead and um, talk about Lackawanna for anybody who might not Yeah, Lackawanna, take the motherfucking Skyway, the Route 5, make a left on Ridge Road. LA Stand Up, for the Freeway. <laughs> 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 So, shit, it's right there. Mm -hmm. 
It's a little bit. I mean, everybody think we just the 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 hood. The first ward is all of Lackawanna when it's you know I mean more to the left. But I mean, the hood is in one section, two projects, big homes, and the Dorothy Glover Gardens now, but AKA the projects, mm -hmm. AKA the motherfucking jungle. You know what I mean? So, shit, that's what it is. A lot of side streets. JT Playground. Come on. Best hoopers in the man. Best hoopers in the state that came through there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas know our name ring bells, man. From hooping to now it's about to ring this rap shit. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Man, I got you. You know what I mean? So. Who, uh, who you listening to right now? Shit, right now? Damn. I'm listening to, listen to Drizzy Hove. You know what I mean? Uh, a little bit of J Electronic with J. Cole. I mean, Kendrick ain't put out in that new while, so I'm about Kendrick when he out. Shit, and pretty much my shit, honestly. Mm -hmm. I really ain't been listening to too much shit, you know what I mean? There's been a lot of me, because I'm in mode right now, so I'm listening to a lot of my own music right mm -hmm. now, so. Mm -hmm. Shit. But, I mean, I like that Pusha T, that new future and Pusha T for real joint. That's my shit. I mean, that OG Bobby Johnson, that's my shit. I usually don't even, uh, like shit like that, but that right. joint had me feeling some type of way. <laughs> All the way there. Now, um, anybody that you uh, that, that you looking to work with, I know you said earlier, you know about spreading your wings and whatnot, and really putting your your, your foot down, and now um, you know getting getting your name really known, um, you know at least out here as far as the seven one six goes, and then certainly you know nationally and worldwide. Anybody that you are looking looking to work with, um, you know, be it from the seven one six or beyond. Well, shit, if I was a 716, I mean, to attention to all 716 artists, shit, man, if you like, if you want to work with me, I'm willing to work with whoever, as long as it's about, as long as we gonna get it done, you know what I mean? I ain't about my time being wasted, so my arms is open, I work with whoever, I don't got no beef for nobody, you know what I mean? Anybody can hit me up anytime, Facebook, we the guy, Twitter, the great guy, any way you can get me, Instagram, we need a guy, you know what I mean? I love me, man. I'm down to work with whoever. There's still a couple artists I want to get get around to work with, like Go Get. We still gotta do that joint. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Michael Prince, couple. You know what I mean? I just did a joint with Baby Girl. Shout out to Baby Girl and her brother Prophet. Come on. You know what I mean? Good peoples. We just did a fire track. So you know what I mean, I fuck with a lot of motherfuckers though. You know what I mean? So, but mostly locally, like gotcha. Lackawanna wise. You know what gotcha. I mean? Man, that's gonna stand up. Yeah, you know I man. But I'm out here. I'm willing to work with whoever. I'm out here. Shoot them, uh, uh, shoot them some links and shit. Shit, like I said, we the God on Facebook. Uh, at the Great God. That's T H A Great God on Twitter. We need the God on Instagram. Uh, shit, email Weedy Tiger thirty four at uh, Yahoo dot com or what's that for Richie fifteen at Gmail dot com. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, it's for it's the number four. R I C H I E fifteen at gmail dot com. So you know what I mean? You can get at me like that. Best way is hit me up on Facebook. I respond to all inboxes and okay. whatever. So you, it, the turnaround period would be right on time. So yeah, for anybody that's in the chat box right now too, if you got some questions for where you go, um, you know, you can go ahead and spit them out and I'll go ahead and get them over to them without a problem. Now um in, in these last uh these last couple of years, you know that uh, that, that you've been rapping on, not couple. You know, I guess you were uh, gonna lie and tell the people it's been like eight, nine years and shit. <laughs> so in that, uh, in that last little bit, how 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 have you grown? You know, from from day one. You know, from from uh, not 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 having, I guess, the uh, the the confidence. You know, and, and delivery and everything that you have now. How have you you know grown into just being a, a part of a situation? You know, in the beginning to now being the the man of the situation. Oh man, like this definitely was a learning process, you know what I mean? Because I always had to comfort, always was comfortable with having not to write a whole song to myself mm -hmm. where people didn't have to hear all of me. Mm -hmm. So it was easy for me just to go and throw a verse that I knew y'all boys was coming to my shit. So even if my joint was mediocre, mm -hmm. it'll be disguised, you feel me? So I can't I mean, rap, don't listen to <laughs> I can't rap. <laughs> but um, I mean, over the years, I've just been growing more. Sitting down, taking my time, writing more, thinking more, watching more shit, you know what I mean? Keeping my ear to the streets, keeping my eyes on the news, television, whatever, current, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Trying to just get out the best quality product and shoot the delivery. 
I mean, it's getting there. I mean, I still, I, I don't think it's perfected the way I want it to be mm -hmm. yet, but it's getting there, you feel me? So I'm more comfortable, you know what I mean? I'm pretty much a whole different person from what I used to be. Like, I'm out of my shell now. Like, I, I feel as though, sure, I can come at you and be like, here, you go a whole body of work with just me, and I can feel comfortable with you actually enjoying it mm -hmm. and listening to it right about now. So, gotcha. I mean, well, it's just it's progress, though. What, what, what interests you outside of... Uh, the music. It just uh, typical, well not typical, but fashion, you know what I mean? I want to get more into the entertainment business, you know what I mean? Got a couple movie scripts, shit, me, me and you still got one, nigga, then we got to get off the ground, you know what I mean? So, I mean, shit like that, restaurants, bars, I mean, I just, I'm all, I, well, actually, man, when my mind is expandable, but for now, right now, it's just focus on the music, but other than that, man, there's a whole bunch of uh, ventures I would definitely love to, to touch once the time is right. So, I mean, the ideas is flowing. It's just all about doing the right things first, taking the right steps to get to all that. So, so black man, let me ask you a question, being a black man. You about to ask me about this uh, sterling nigga? Immediately. <laughs> we always got to talk sports talk. Now it's like, let me get comfortable. This is what I like talking about. <laughs> Uh, man, we can talk, let's talk some sports real quick. It's the UConn fan who don't got a UConn hat. Man, UConn, nigga, we just won a stand nah, for back-to-back. Nah. -back. I mean, not back-to-back. -back. Yeah, get him out of here. Second time, <laughs> second time, the male and the female don't want it. That's what I mean by back-to-back. -back. You know what I mean? Shout out to UConn, mm -hmm. the squad. What's, uh, what's, what's your take on, um, on, on Donald Sterling? Okay, so I finally heard the whole thing. And honestly, it don't sound like it's a phone conversation for one. It sound like it sound like Somebody if had a pocket recording. Yeah, like she that. had the agenda. She knew what she was going to do when she went in there, mm -hmm. and he was talking to her as a as a person that he's confident in speaking. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's comfortable with speaking to her like that, or she know he speaks like that. You feel me? So it, I feel as though it was definitely a plant. Not saying that it was right what he said, but I mean honestly, at the end of the day, man. Black people need to wake up and realize that, man, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you, honestly. First off, you know what I mean? And second, I mean, sure, they probably going to suspend him and whatnot, but, I mean, they can't take the team away from him because he owned the team, paid for it. You know what I mean? The only thing that can happen is the fans can just not come support or whatever, but, I mean, at that point, he'll sell, still make his money and go do some other shit. I mean, but shit, real talk, man. He was damn near spitting some real talk to her, basically telling her, I don't give a fuck who you be with, just don't be flaunting it because I'm in this certain type of circle. I mean, he ain't say nigga or nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, he is a little a bigot, you know what I mean? That's that's, that's, a, that's number one. Let's not, let's not uh, forget that, but I mean, I mean, I'm not mad at him, shit. This is what the fuck? Right. What the fuck? What the, what the, I mean, I mean and we came up on sticks and stones. A motherfucker gonna say what they gonna say, man. It's all about how you react to what they do. Niggas mad as hell and they done watched Django 15 times. Man, I laughed at Django. Come on, the man. whole movie. On, that man. movie was Shit. funny as hell. And I'm like, I seen there was a lot of bad people that didn't like it, but I mean, shit, it is what it is. You, man, you feed into everything else, why not laugh at Django? Man, say that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Um, performance wise. We got um, we got anything coming up, man. Anybody um, that wants to um, you know, get you on the stage, how do they get to you directly? Shit, uh, if you want me to perform, get at me the way I just spit them out. We need a guy on Facebook, Twitter, the great guy on Twitter. We need a guy on uh, Instagram, uh, the number four R I C H I E fifteen at gmail dot com. Uh, hit on the email. I mean, I don't got no scheduled performances coming up now, right now, as of yet. I do want to hit the, uh, do your, does that put it, I don't even mm -hmm. want, it's Thursdays on, uh, on OHM, mm -hmm. I want to go there, probably this Thursday, so man, you might catch me there Thursday, come perform the 420 song, me and Gina, if not, I'll perform some other hot shit, mm -hmm. but yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely going to check that out, just to get back performing, because I love performing, that's the best part about this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of, uh, a lot of people out here calling themselves God. <laughs> You feel about that? That's how you feel. Man, I mean, shit, it is what it is, man. Now, is it is, is it G O D the legend or is it Weedy the God? I mean, 
Let me clear it up. It was GOD the legend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The GOD standing for greatness on this play. Uh, I switched it. We switched, We decided that it, uh, it was more catchy to go with We Need a God. You know what I mean? And it's, and I, it's basically no longer an acronym, but the acronym still holds to me. Like if somebody asks me, We Need a God, I'm telling them. It's we the guy, but the GLD still stand for greatness on display. Gotcha. But I mean, shit, man. In the in the in the big scheme of life, I mean, in the origins of what life is really about, I mean, shit, we all got it. So, I mean, shit, to each his own. Man, you a god, I'm a god. I'm we the guy, though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's in my name, so that's who I am. Got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. Well, you know how I mean? necessary is uh, how necessary is rap beef to the culture? I don't think it's necessary at all. I really don't. Man, if I don't, especially if I don't know you, mm -hmm. or never saw you, never fuck one of your bitches, even if I fuck one of your bitches, don't even press me about no bitches. <laughs> First of all, you fuck with my bitches, man. All I'm gonna do is damn near slap you up and when I see you. Like, man, come on, good fucking, good job, man. Nigga, whatever, you know what I mean. I, this niggas be doing too much sweating over this over this pussy and shit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So, I mean, what the fucking question you made me out there, man? Don't that beef. Oh, rap beef? No, it's definitely not necessary. If I don't know you, that's what I'm saying. If I don't know you, I mean, no sense in me beefing with you. I mean, even if I do, I mean, I ain't got time for that shit, man. It should be, it's a, we at a point where we should be focused on progressing instead of digressing, man. It's too much, too many black people killing each other. Just too many people killing each other, period. Or even just having problems with each other for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? Like, like it's sad from the outside looking in from Lackawanna from to Buffalo, like I noticed that a lot of artists don't really fuck with each other. It's like, man, I don't like Lackawanna, man. Shit, we all fuck with each other, you know what I mean? Come on. We all we got, honestly, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. Shit, that's the only way you're gonna put the city on the map. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Gotta fuck with each other. So that's why when I do get a chance to fuck with uh, Buffalo artists, man, I be like, holla at me, you know what I mean? Okay. We can work, you know what I mean? I'm all about work, man. Mm -hmm. We all grinding together, man. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to put in work, I'm ready to put in work. Let's work all the time. And you got the uh, got the 420 joint. Yeah. Premiered that joint last week. Yeah. Um, they had over a thousand views in about a, a week and a day. Yeah. 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 I guess probably about a full week. Yeah, full week. Um, just go ahead and give us uh, you know, give us give, give us I guess um, your uh, your, your full take on that. Where the and I don't want to say where the song came from. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, but uh, what I guess what was the the direct inspiration that said, yeah, let's go ahead and do this song. I mean, niggas smoke every day. Yeah. And, um, you know, and the, the, the video, you know, what was the, uh, the the direction and the thought process behind the video? And this what was the, the, the general overall feel of, of the whole process from start to finish? Well, actually, this is how it turned out. Shout out to Devin Air Beats for making a beat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They definitely laced the beat. You know what I mean? I mean, he said, he sparked it by sending me, he like, yo, I'm about to send you this uh, weed joint because I, I ain't got I don't got no beef. I never sent you a weed joint. He said, I know you smoke weed, so I need one of them from you. So he sent the beat. And I'm like, yo, this joint tough as fuck. You feel me? You know, and I was feeling the sample. You know what I mean? Because I was feeling the original song of the sample, you know what I mean? From Cali Buzz. So I let Gina here. I'm like, yo, if you feel like you can spit to this joint, you know what I mean? We can do this shit. You know what I mean? If not, I'm just going to rock out. But she was like, no, I'm feeling it. So she wrote a verse. I wrote a verse. Uh, actually, I laid my joint, and then we got the hair joint. After it was a, it was a couple uh, doubters, doubters in the crowd. You feel me about uh, <laughs> about uh, about Gina first? You know what I mean? They shall remain nameless. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? We had faith at the end of the day, and it turned out to be a great record. You know what I mean? Like their verse was a one. You know what I mean? Everything turned out right, and it was like right four twenty was coming up, mm -hmm. and we was like, yo, you know what I mean? Let's 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 try to shoot a video. I'm talking with Ray. He like, man, let's just do this. Get this out for 420, man, for the smokers. Come on. So we just, I mean, immediately start going into motion, and then <coughs> this nigga Ray just went on his head and like, fuck it. He got in contact with Gus. Shout out to DJ Gus. Gus, one right. Dream Films. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody over there doing their thing, man. The boys man, doing good work, man. Mm -hmm. Get in touch with them boys if you want an official fucking video, real talk. Um, but uh, Ray reached out to him. and was just like. Man, they hit, next thing I know this nigga hit me up like, yo, I paid for the video, man. We got to shoot this shit within a couple of days, you know what I mean? We like, oh, you know what I mean? It was just, it got put in motion. And then, man, this, everything turned out right. We met at the, we had the spot, you know what I mean? Everybody came through, which was a blessing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Came through road with a thousand blunts. Had blunts to smoke from motherfucking five o'clock to nine thirty. We smoked blunts from five o'clock to nine thirty. Nine stop blunts though. Not no one. Then another one. It was about ten. Mm-hmm. Then another ten. Then another thirty. You feel me? It was wow. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. Then, I mean, then my shout, shout out to noodles, man, man. Yeah, shout out to noodles for hitting them thirty-five push-ups, man. And shout out to uh, shout out to Ramsey, man, my boy Ramsey. Let Ramsey, me do the, let me do the shisha lounge out there in Millersburg, man. Go show him some love. That's Wednesday nights, awesome. they college night, man. DJ Rabbit be up in there. Shout out to DJ Rabbit too. Who fucks with us. I fucks with him. So I mean, a lot of shit just came together for that, man. Then when we put it out, man, it was just you know what I mean. It's catching a little bit, you know what I mean. But obviously, we just gotta keep promoting it. You know what I mean? We got the singles now, as you can see right here. You know what I mean? You see me on the streets. I see me, you know what I mean? Just ask me for one. I got him on deck. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a single on there. It got the YouTube information. Email information on there too, if you, you know what I mean? For whatever you want to get in touch. So, I mean. That's how you're supposed to do it. You don't just come with your, your, your mixtape on the shirt. We come, we come, you know we come official. There. Official printing right here. Official first, printing. First time they hear you in this here, take my mixtape, fam. And, and we do, and we do got a uh, CD duplication on deck. Yeah. You know what I mean? So holla at us. Mm-hmm. Get at us. We 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 do it for a good price, man. So holla at us. Now, uh, what are you uh, what are you doing this for? You know, I mean, is, is, is it just because you know you you fucking like music and and you nice? You know, are there lives and 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 worlds and shit that you that you're trying to change or you know you just don't like the state of music like what was you doing this for man i think it's a combination of a lot of shit you know mm-hmm. what i mean like i never man you know how you young and you fucking you know i mean you always watching the videos you performing on the shit i mean you want to be a rapper but you like is this really what the fuck i'm gonna do you mm-hmm. feel me like shit, i was hooper growing up but i said most of us we was always into athletics growing up you know what i mean so I mean, I, I wrote my first rap when I was like 15, but I was still chasing that hoop dream. So I was just like, you know what I mean? Put the, it was, that was it for that. And then, uh, man, shit, after the hoop dream was done. Man. <laughs> it was That's about, what happens when you can't really hoop. <laughs> you crazy as hell. <laughs> Check my motherfucking resume, man. There's a lot of these niggas got tripped like holiday turkeys around here. But anyway, oh, uh, but, uh. You know what I mean? After the hoop dream was over, it was a couple years of, man, honestly, fucking trying to figure out what the fuck I was going to do. You know what I mean? Then even y'all boys was hollering, yo, you should just rap, you should just rap. And I'm like, man, niggas ain't going to take me serious. Rapper, what the fuck I'm going to rap about? You know what I mean? Then, shit, once I got back in the groove of it, you know what I mean? Then started figuring out what I really want to rap about. I mean, I was like, okay, well, I can push this dream. And then, of course, you know what I mean? I got family that... Definitely want to change my family life. You know what I mean? We've been struggling our life. So, of course, you want to get your people to buy that situation and put on for the hood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But do it all in a smart business savvy way, though. You know what I mean? But we just here to get it, man. We're here to, we're here to grow, man. Think of growing rich all over again. Even though it ain't tag money, we still thinking of growing rich, man. Come on, now. now what's, wrong with the, uh, what's wrong with the hood, per se, and the, uh, the, the hood mentality? You know, why don't. Uh, I guess as many people wish to get out the hood, why don't they get out the hood? Why do so many people die in the in the same house that they grew up in? You know, or why can you step outside and be able to <coughs> go to a hundred people's grandmother's house in a day if that's what you want to do? Man, I mean, people. It's all about comfortable. Motherfuckers comfortable have not having shit or not being shit. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, motherfuckers are scared to to uh, expand beyond, I mean, especially in Lackawanna, you know what I mean, it's, it's hard for people to expand beyond those, man, let alone the city, the fucking four corners, the four project corners, or the four big home corners, you feel me, motherfuckers don't even leave that shit, right. furthest niggas go is the Ridge Road, you feel me, and that's the Bible <laughs> state, you know what I mean, so, I mean, it, it, it's, the thinking is all fucked up, man, but I think it's, it's truly, it's, it's really truly, it's motherfuckers that want to change, but but they don't know how to change. Mm-hmm. And like, you know what I mean? With this movement we're providing, man, I just, I'm provide, I want to provide hope and let motherfuckers know that shit, man, you put your mind to it, we can get this shit done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm not no selfish nigga, man. I'm all about uplifting the hood. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm all about uplifting the hood. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we, 
we all about that over here. We, we all about changing the mentality, changing the state of the hood, you know what I mean? Getting some for these youth, man. It's definitely ain't shit right now. Come on, man. Now, um, how did you feel when uh, when you saw the Friendship House was no more? You know what I mean? Because it's, it's a lot it's, it's a lot different than just seeing the Friendship House being abandoned. Yeah, then you actually and you see it clear as feel. It's like nothing's gone. Like what the fuck, mm -hmm. man? That's reality. That's a reality check right there, like, mm -hmm. man. That was the pillar of the community for you. Know what I mean? Growing up, and now that it's like My niggas out here mad about Donald Sterling, man, and shit. Now there's no more. Ain't nothing for kids to do. Mm -hmm. No summer programs. You gotta go damn near outside, it ain't nothing in our community to do. Come on. I mean, motherfuckers are, I mean, not the bash no religious and shit, we're talk, talking about religious, but man, even the churches ain't even helping these kids, man. Right. They just want you to come to church and pay your tithes, man. Right. So. If you wanna be blessed, <laughs> pay your tithes and your offering. Man, could never be a part of a church that sings some shit like that. <laughs> Must be crazy. Anywho, um, do you feel like you have to, I guess, like put on, put on for the for, for the big niggas, you know, or do you feel like you, know, you don't even look at that? I mean, cause I see, you know, a lot of niggas be like, man, man, my fat boy swag, my my big nigga swag, I'm putting on for the chug you know what I mean, do you do you even pay attention to that? You know, do you feel like that's an, an angle? Or a, a, a gimmick that that you need to take, or you know, is it just yeah. off? I am who I am, and I do what I do. Man, listen, I leave that up to the motherfuckers to do the comparisons or to say I got the big nigga swag or whatever, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm me. At the end of the day, I ain't trying to be nobody. Whatever you feel like I am, you might think that oh, this nigga putting on for the big nigga. Me. Yeah, I mean, shit. Keep thinking, it, whatever. As long as you like it, <laughs> whatever. But I'm not. I'm not here to put on for the big niggas, man. Uh, lead that up to Rick Ross, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, uh, you ever get Rick Ross comparisons? Uh, somebody just said I sound like Rick Ross the other day. I was kind of mad, too. Mm -hmm. Fucking stupid. They probably were saying it as they was looking dead at you. Brother. I was like, Rick Ross? Yeah. But, hey. I'll be like that. Whatever. What's, uh, what's, what, what's something about you that the, the, the people don't know? That they would, uh... They would be shocked about that. I'm the yeah, best to beat your ass all the time. That, that I'm the best motherfucking Hoover. Can't nobody check me. Yeah. I'm the best. You see, he just glossed over how I used to whoop his ass when we was kids. Man, because it's some shit that you don't even need to acknowledge. <laughs> that's <ain't> true. <laughs> ain't no shit to acknowledge. That, 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 that's not true. Yeah. So, but it's it, man. I'm a Hoover, man. I was a Hoover first. Yeah. I shoot you down with the J, put you in a block, put you with one of these little signature jump hooks. You know what I mean? That's what if you you could never look at me and think that motherfuckers just like, oh, I got a big man on me, I'm about to have a good night. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you thought you thought so. Too. Yeah. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You still got the jumper? You still hoop it off? Uh, not as much as I want to, but mm -hmm. shit. I can still get out there and hit a couple choppers if I need to. Come on. Go out there and sling a couple hooks. Too good for about half a game, two games. No, I can play a whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't smoke before I do that shit, yeah. though. But I can play a whole game, though, you know what I mean? Okay. I, I mean, full court, I ain't gonna run back. I ain't gonna run up and down the court every time. Half court, we in there. Mm -hmm. Half court, I'm all in. That's where you're gonna get about 100% of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you was, uh, if you was mayor of Lockwood, what mm -hmm. would be the first thing you do? Man, build another franchise. What would be the second thing you do? Man. Fix all the fucking streets. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. Man. Them streets is horrible, man. What would you uh <coughs> what would you do on your last day in office? Man. Man. Man, play Robin Hood. Leave. <laughs> play Robin Hood. Yeah. I dig that. Fucking dip in these rich motherfuckers' pockets, spread it in the hood. Man. Man. I dig it. I so, dig. Um, burn that bitch down. 
Now, when did you say we have these uh, we have these projects coming up? Uh, shit. First of all, shit. Before I even plug those joints, I gotta plug. You know what I mean? Shout out to Piff again. We got the classic. First, first uh, classic part one. We got the American classic coming out sometime in June. That's why I had to say that. Uh, we need a guy to rich the album come Boys out. Boys don't hit me up for no features. Uh, like July. Gina, more like the fall. And then we got a secret project we're working on for the end of the year. I ain't even gonna say it, but oh, it's, 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 it'll be due out the end of the year. Oh, man. Like New Year's. I dig but, it. Uh, this summer, this summer definitely we're gonna be a hot summer. Like I said, we're gonna do the Memorial Day mixtape uh, with Television E and T, and we're gonna drop the American Classic with Television E and T. Then we're gonna drop Forever Rich album under Straight Forever Rich E and T, and then fall time we're gonna have Gina Straight Forever Rich E and T, and then the uh, Secret Project by New Year's. Come on now, for any of the uh, for any of the, uh, the the kids, any of the youth that don't even know that you make music, you know, if you could get your mentor on, if you could get your big brother on. You know, how would you uh, go ahead and pat them on their pamper and, and send them on their way? For if they trying to make music? No, just, I mean, just, just anything in oh, general. Oh, man, shit. Little anything little in general, man. If I tell these kids, man, whatever, pick what you good at in life and what you want to do that you think that you can do every day and love it and have fun and fucking just go high. That's the best advice I can give you. Okay. Try to find out every which way possible to make that happen because that's your true passion and that's you gonna be happier doing that than just find out what you're gonna be happier doing than anything else in the world and do that hundred percent. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna get everywhere you wanna go. What's the uh, what's the what's the worst advice you ever received? Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Oh man. Shout out to all of man, shout out to all the bad advice I got in my life. Come on. But man, I can't even pick out a piece of trash the, right. out of a trash field. Come on. It's just man. Come on. Now, how about those, um, you know, those, those difference? I mean, just at any time, you know, somebody, maybe you're doing something, somebody, like, man, you should do it like this, bro, da, 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 you know, any shit like that. How has it had, have any of those situations, you know, shaped you to be where you are now? You know, just the different learning experiences and, and what have you, just growing and learning as a man and as a businessman. Man, honestly, I mean, we still go through it now, but I mean, we definitely grown through it. But I mean, it's more or less we just learn to listen to each other now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's the best way to get all points across and all understanding. You feel me? So we 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 listen up. We listen a lot to each other now. You know what I mean? It's all about writing down these key ideas that we be having, so we don't forget or we not leave it up to nobody else to remember. I mean, we tightening it up. You know what I mean? Basically, that's all it's about, man. Best advice I got is, man, you can't please everybody, man. Cool. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what works for you. So that's what, that's what, that's what we gotta stay true to. So. Okay. Anything that we are, uh, anything that we missed, anything we didn't touch on that you might want to uh, let the people know. Shout out to my daughter Braylon, Daddy Lady. Bray, Bray. <laughs> that's my world. So I had to shout her out. Man, shit. Man, I'm just here. We the guy, man. Look me up, man. Holla at me, man. We can work, man. Wherever we want to work, man. I'm, all, I'm always here. You know what I mean? Check my SoundCloud out. We the guy. Just type in We the guy. Facebook, Twitter, all that shit. You know, it'll pop up. And that's how you can get at me. And we can work. Shit. Send me your link so I can motherfucking uh, start supporting your way or whatever. You know what I mean? I do support. You know what I mean? I, I share whatever, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Watch it, share it, like it, subscribe to whatever you got. So, you know what I mean? I I uh I ain't no hater. <laughs> you think uh think Richie would be proud of the direction of the Forever Rich movement? I mean, hell yeah, I mean see he was proud just of the shit that was going on before yeah. we even yeah. had that discussion, you know what I mean? But I think just that man. It was it was real important to honor him and what he was doing because man that was a devastating blow to the whole hood. So I mean and shit the hood ain't got no choice but to fuck with it. You know what I mean if you fuck with Richie you ain't got no choice but to fuck with Forever Rich. You know what I mean that's what it is. So shit he definitely would be proud though. Definitely. 
What's up with some uh some candy coated bars or something? You got some bars for us? Ah uh, yeah, I got a little something. Brooklyn, we did it. Lay <laughs> <laughs> y'all a little something. Uh. <clears throat> no, <she's not. laughs> uh Sick and tired of niggas with no ambition. We playing it like a scrimmage. Call it an exhibition. My nigga, I'm in position. Scratch you out of my pitch. Take you out of my frame. I'm photoshopping you niggas. I'm overstocking no figures. Overcocking these bitches. Overcharging these crackers with what they did to these niggas. Ready to pull them hammers. Over misunderstandings. Thinking he hot shit. Greeting with hollow tips. I just sit and roll a spliff. Smoking then forget. Won't take me away from Berlin. Lock me for petty shit. Niggas is dumb as shit. Killing what's in the mirror. Catch me on my fly shit. Call me Superman. Hero. I'm out to get the cheese. Cash. De Niro. Leave when you feel the heat. Learn that from De Niro. This shit is like a freak though. Easier than the free code. Lean the seat back. Suck my dick and cuff my nuts hoe. Yeah, I really mean it. I ain't shy with my penis. After the blow job, I'ma fuck you till you scream. How you up early making cheese eggs? French toast, we touring the French coast, we riding out in the ghost. Matter of fact, in the back, do what the fuck we want, living life to the max, kicking we in the mix, don't get no better than this. We flip till it made sense, my niggas, we getting rich. Sheesh. Throw the sheesh on there. Sheesh. And listen to it, bro. I just want to say. And that's not a freestyle, I'll keep it real with y'all, you know. Cop this joint, it's number two. Come on. <laughs> 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 you feel me? And um, we started the sheesh, man. That shit came out yeah. of our camp. I just want people to know that. Flatline started the sheesh. You know I mean? This nigga right here started the sheesh. I'm right. looking at the sheesh master. Bro. I don't want to, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to throw my cape on and pat my back, but the, the cape sheesh, is on and the back is patted. It, it definitely originated <laughs> from our situation. So if you hear a nigga say sheesh, I don't care where you hear it or who you hear it from, you know where it came from. It's a lot of one of them. Come on, man. It's Chad Money. That's Willie the God. Willie the God. Rich ANT. MySelfFishing.com, sure man. Yes. Make sure you cop that classic. Make sure you look out for that American classic. Um, Gina's on the way. Singles on deck. Smashing on the way. Singles on deck. Um, now, man, Video on deck. Hit the YouTube, man. Right now. Everybody go to YouTube right now and go check that joint Type out. Type in Forever Rich ENT. Willie the God. 420. DJ Gus. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. And we out of here, people. It's my substation, Jack Carroll.